the moon. I went much further, for time is the longest distance between two places. Not long after that, I was fired for writing a poem on the lid of a shoebox. I left St. Louis. I descended the steps of this fire escape for the last time and followed from then on in my father's footsteps, attempting to find in motion what was lost in space. I traveled around a great deal. The city swept about me like dead leaves, leaves that were brightly colored but torn away from the branches. I would have stopped, but I was pursued by something. It always came upon me unawares, taking me altogether by surprise. Perhaps it was a familiar bit of music. Perhaps it was only a piece of transparent glass. Perhaps I am walking along a street at night, along in some strange city, before I have found companions. I pass the lighted window of a shop where perfume is sold. The window is filled with pieces of colored glass Tiny, tiny, transparent bottles in delicate colors, like pieces of a shattered rainbow. Then, all at once, my sister touches my shoulder. I turn around and I look into her eyes. Oh, Laura, Laura, I tried to leave you behind me, but I am more faithful than I intended to be. I reach for a cigarette. I cross the street. I run into the movies or a bar. I buy a drink. I speak to the nearest stranger. Anything that can blow your candles out. For nowadays, the world is lit by lightning. Blow out your candles, Laura. And so, goodbye.